Are you bored at home with nothing to do, wearing the same pajama shirt for a week straight and losing the motivation to keep up your personal hygiene? Do you just live the same boring life every day and walk aimlessly around your house scrolling hours on TikTok and Instagram? Your mind slowly turning to mush after hearing down south hood baby for the 1678th time? Well, what if I told you you could live a different life, a more exciting life? What does that look like, you ask? Well, it looks like this. On Mondays, we are channeling the icon herself, Miranda Priestley. Since Mondays are a time for the rise and grind, I am heading to my penthouse office in New York City where I own a multi-billion dollar company. We are currently number one in the NASDAQ 100 and at this point in my career, I have ended both world hunger and created world peace. I am in fact Jeff Bezos if he was a style icon. And my favorite activity is of course yelling at my board members. So for this look, I am wearing a thrifted blazer with a white tank top I tucked into my bra. I thought the green trousers would give a pop of color to the whole look and I finished it off with a very businessy bag. I enjoy activities such as yelling at my assistant and I have Anna Wintour pick out my outfits every morning. Also, I eat a $100,000 placenta every single morning to keep my skin youthful and drink Himalayan goat piss to detox. <sighs> what a life. Sun is coming up again. On Tuesday, I am the most sought after model in Paris Fashion Week. Chanel, Dior, Saint Laurent, and even Balmain, baby, all want me to open their shows. Clearly, we're going for a model off duty look. This look I copied almost exactly from Kendall Jenner. For a chic all white outfit, I just paired a casual t shirt that is probably worth more than your rent, but looks like I found in the thrift store with some white jeans that definitely cost more than your car. I tied my hair back in a sleek bun and finished it off with some classic gold hoop earrings. Life is just so hard being constantly chased by the paparazzi, yet I somehow look good 24 seven. And also somehow I am a model despite only being 5'6 and having an asymmetrical face with odd proportions. Yeah, this dream is definitely a stretch. All I wanna do is feel awesome. On Wednesday, we are in New York City, baby. The land of dreams, bagels, and fashion. Living in New York has honestly been my dream since I was a kid, and I am still determined to live there. I'm going for a funky, boho chic, cool girl look. That's what I love about New York. Everyone is so goddamn fashionable, and no one gives a shit about what you're wearing, so you can be like as wild as possible. I am wearing this retro low rise flare jeans with some brown boots. I threw on a brown leather jacket on top to tie everything together, and I am honestly obsessed with this look. Definitely one of my favorites. In this dream, I am an aspiring fashion editor working my ass off in New York City and the main character in a rom-com, of course. I get off late at work and go to restaurants with my best friends, goof around on the subway station, and honestly just like live my best life. On Thursdays, we are in the Alps and just having a very peaceful and aesthetic picnic. Also, just like how amazing would it be to have Julie Andrews sing to you? She is actually such an icon, oh my god. But for this look, I just wore a really cute summery dress and pulled my hair down into a low ponytail. This dress is honestly so cute. Like, do you just see like the little patterns? It reminds me of, like jelly beans or something. But I just set up a white bed sheet in my backyard and suddenly teleported to Switzerland. In a perfect world, I would be reading a Jane Austen novel while snacking on the world's most perfect brie. Honestly, I would recommend everyone do this if they can in the summer. Just pack up some dinner and go in your backyard and have a picnic. It was super fun and I think just doing these little things helps you like romanticize your own life. It makes you feel like you're in a 17th century romance novel. Like what else could you want? And you get some really aesthetic Instagram pictures out of it. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I have always wanted to be Lucy Liu in Charlie's Angels. They are literally so badass. So on Fridays, it is time to party it up. We're going full James Bond and pulling out our suits and ties. I'm wearing this black polka dot puff sleeve dress I got from Zara. Of course, we have to decorate it with some major bling. We're going to be fighting crime and looking damn good while doing it. Also just like enjoy my kicking skills and awesome finger guns, of course. Guys, I really committed to this persona. I even lifted this heavy ass chair on my head. 
This is, of course, how I would knock someone out in real life. Have you ever just wanted to run away and live on a farm? You guessed it, Saturdays are for the farmers. We are finally fulfilling our dream of being Miley Stewart, city girl struggling to find her country roots, and of course, secretly being the famous pop star Hannah Montana. Can't forget that crucial detail. But for real, some days I just wanna to retire to a small farm in the countryside and just have my own little vegetable patch. We are going all in with this farmer aesthetic with this double denim. I also stole this t-shirt from my dad and it's honestly so cute, it says alternative energy. Some days we just need to put our hair in a bun and plow some dirt, you feel me? I couldn't find the hose attachment when filming this, so it's literally just water coming out of a hose. And when I was filming this, I literally knocked my camera over and it got all wet. But after I got my camera wet, I cleaned up the towel and then I suddenly looked like a car mechanic or something. But you know, we're just gonna be vibing with that. Also, my grandma and my mom have been growing these tomatoes and peppers in our backyard, which are finally starting to grow. Exciting. Yes, while managing a multi-billion dollar business, being a top model, a fashion editor, a CIA agent, and a farmer, I am also a K-pop star. You guessed it. I know, I know. I'm a girl with many talents. On Sunday, we are jetting back from Korea to the US because I'm sure as you all know, we have to be at the office on Monday. I am channeling Jenny from Blackpink for this airport chic look with this blue mini crop cardigan and some black trousers. I am just about the worst dancer you will ever meet, so please appreciate the effort I put into this very, very bad dance. Okay, thank you very much. But I just finished the look off with some blue Air Force Ones and a black bag. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that sound? Uh oh. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck, oh my god, shut the fuck up, I ain't hearing what you gotta say What the deal, how you feel, not important All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, the bucket coming at me with that 